fires up his hot new invention. His machine emits a flame that feels only slightly warm to the touch. But watch what happens when he touches anything else. Instantaneously, I can burn a hole right down through the center of that brick. The flame instantly turns hotter than the surface of the sun. Heat so intense it takes only seconds to literally burn a hole through charcoal. Three seconds turns a brass ball to glowing liquid metal. Tungsten lights up like a sparkler. Steel, lead, and other metal slices on contact. Yet the tip of the welder stays cool to the touch. No other gas will, will do this. Denny Klein uses an alternative fuel source once thought impossible. He says people still have trouble believing him when he reveals his liquid fuel. Water. Take water and electricity and we break it down through our uh, very unique electrolysis process. Klein has just patented his process of converting H2O to HHO, producing a gas that combines the atomic power of hydrogen with the chemical stability of water. It turns right back to water. You can see the water running off of this. Klein originally designed his water-burning engine for cutting metal. He thought his invention would replace volatile acetylene in welding factories. And then one day, as he drove to his laboratory in Clearwater, he thought of another way to burn his HHO gas. On a 100-mile trip, uh, we use about four ounces of water. <laughs> Klein says his prototype 1994 Ford Escort can travel exclusively on water, though he currently has it rigged to run as a water and gasoline hybrid. Simply uh, speaking, it could change the world by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. These are equivalent to our... Uh... Pete Dominici is helping Klein take his hydrogen technology patents from a two-room office in Clearwater to consumer markets around the world. You know what? Microsoft came out of nowhere, came out of the garage. Why not hydrogen technologies? The duo is already in negotiations with one U.S. automaker and the U.S. government. Their plans have grown from basic welding with water to powering the entire world from the safest and cleanest fuel on earth. Craig Patrick, Fox News. Members of Congress recently invited Denny Klein to Washington to demonstrate his technology. Now his company is currently developing a Hummer for the U.S. military that can run on both water and gasoline. So far, his water-powered engines have passed all performance safety inspections, so all systems appear to be go right now and gives new meaning to the term running water. You just have to hope that water prices don't go up like the gas. <laughs> I'm Drew Below Melchizedek with Rolling Art, and we're here in Toronto, Canada to investigate the possibility of running an automobile on water. There are a lot of other forms of, of alternative fuels than what are normally talked about. We've been searching the world over, actually, for different kinds of things. But today we're going to talk about the possibility of hydrogen fuel, and specifically using water, just ordinary tap water out of a faucet, to run a car. In these containers that you'll see here, uh, where he has 13 containers, uh, and you see the motor up here, which is a 12 horsepower uh, generator that he has to run this whole thing. You have this long tube coming down, which is just a tube to collect the hydrogen and, uh, and a valve to either shut it on or off up toward closer to the motor. And then each one of these little cylinders have the, uh, the electrolyte that's in there, which in this case are not salt, but another kind of electrolyte. But it doesn't really matter what the electrolyte is that much. And then he has this metal compound in there. Uh, this is producing the, the hydrogen gas, which is going up to the motor, and, it, and it's running it. As you can see, that's a lot of hydrogen. See the size of the bubbles? Uh, he's had this running for a, an hour or more at a time, continuously, and I think he can run it with this system up to about two hours. What he's trying to develop is a little tiny pill that has the electrolytes and the uh, metal compounds in it, so all you do is have your car with water in your gas tank instead of gasoline, and you throw this little pill in, and it starts making the hydrogen, and you run from there. He 
is demonstrating beyond a doubt that you can break water apart and you can produce enough hydrogen to run an engine. We're going to continue our search for the water car on Dribble Low Milky's Deck in Toronto, Canada.